Welcome back. This is another freeze training video. We're going to go over the view in this one. So we've already looked at the controller. We're going to take a look at the view right now. The view is all of the visible stuff that you see. I'm not going to get into all of the client side code for the view, but I'm going to get into the parts uh, that Freeze does and how it works. So the first thing you need to keep in mind is that when you're running Freeze Builder, you have a choice right here, in Package to Generate. There's two different types of view, there's Smarty and Savant. So the app we're going to be looking at today is a Savant app. Okay, so we've got our project here, we've got our controller, and our view are all in the templates folder. This is where all of our views are stored. So you can see the names of these views, customer list view, package list view, service list view. Now those correspond to uh, the customer list view is this. Let's just take a look at that really quick. Now there's a lot of sort of complicated code in here if you don't understand backbone and underscore because we don't really have much HTML. In fact, all we have are just a couple of divs. And everything gets pulled in through these uh, script tags, which you may not recognize type, text, template. These are underscore templates. And as I said, I'm not gonna get into the details of those, but suffice it to say that what Freeze is doing is it's just rendering this template. And the way it does that is when you go to the controller, let's look at customer controller, list view, this particular method uses a little bit of Freeze's built-in ability to figure out what view you want to show based on the name of the method you're calling. In this case, we've got customer controller and list view. So if you just call render with no parameters, then Freeze is going to assume that you want to show a view that's called customer list view. And in fact, that's what this one's called. So what I'm going to do is create a route and I'm going to create a custom template for us to show you some of the functionality that the view has. So to get started, we're gonna go into our route map, like we did before, and we're gonna create a new route. It's gonna be called view test. And again, we're gonna freeload on one of the existing controllers because I don't wanna write a new one. I'm gonna use the default controller, and I'm gonna say view test. So I just mapped view test to default controller, method called view test. So let's open up the default controller, create a function called view test. And just to make sure it's working, we're gonna say hello. Let's give that a check. Test. There we go. Okay. So our route and our controller are working. Now what happens if we just call this render? There is no view called default view test. So we get an error. We get a template error. If we click that, we'll see basically just the template is missing. Okay, so how would we make this work? Well, we've got two choices. I'm going to show you. If I were to just call this render, then I could go in here to templates and I could create a template. Called. I could create a template called default view test dot tpl dot php. Okay, dot tpl dot php is the extension used by Savant. And then we can say default view test template. At this point, we're in HTML land, so I'm not going to make an official HTML document for, the, for this. There we go, we just displayed default view test template. Let's try something else though. Let's say that I didn't want my template to be named default view test. I want my template to be called my test. So in order to do that, I just need to create a file called my test dot tpl.php and in the 
this as my test. So let's check that out. There we go. So we, we've looked at both ways. We've looked at just the default, you know, not providing a parameter to render. And we've looked at actually specifically giving it one in case we want to customize the name of the template. We're just gonna stick with my test as our template that we're gonna experiment with. So that's great, we can display this. Uh, but this template doesn't have access to any of our variables. So the next thing that we would need to know how to do is assign variables to the template. And to do that is really simple. We just say this, assign, and we give something a name, so we'll just say my var, and then the value of that is gonna be this is my var. And now if we go into our template, we can access that. We're using Savant here, so in order to really see how the templates work, you should look up Savant PHP, and everything that you can do in Savant, you can do here. The way Savant likes you to do it is they like you to say this ePrint, and what this does is it escapes whatever you're going to do, and then this. So the way Savant works is it just puts everything in the this namespace. So this my var should be what we assigned. Let's put that inside a paragraph tag too so that we get some line breaks so that we can see things. Here we go. And since we used ePrint, if this were to contain HTML code, it should escape it. See, here we go. So we can prevent um, cross-site scripting uh, attacks. We can also do more complex assignments. We can say uh, object equals new standard class. Okay, we've just created an object. We can assign that to the template as well. We can assign that my object, and we will give it the value of the object. So now, inside my test, we should be able to say my object name. There we go. So you, you can do more than just simple variable assignments, but this is all, like I said, Savant code. I would check out Savant PHP's documentation to learn more about this. So that's views. If you have any questions about this, anything doesn't make sense, leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks again for watching and giving Freeze a try.